Busted. Hello out there and thanks for joining us on Political Platform. It's a Monday and uh, the PDP is smarting from uh, its resolutions at uh, the court, that uh, the Supreme Court resolving all the crisis it has uh, had a celebration at the weekend. And uh, that celebration uh, is the uh, turning point, is the tonic that is required to have uh, the Nigerian political environment, particularly in the area of opposition, uh, get the steam. And the steam is on from what we saw at Eagle Square in Abuja. It is obvious that the PDP, if it can navigate very well, it will be able to play the expected role as an opposition party and begin to prepare uh, for 2019 and give this uh, APC government uh, the, needed, the needed opposition to get it to sit up and work in the interest of Nigeria. In the last two years, we have not had it uh, uh, so good with regard to uh, an opposition party holding the uh, government in power accountable and uh, pull it, pull, putting them on the on the track that they will run uh, indeed uh, very well. But we are happy that uh, they are back now and then we can now begin to look in the direction of uh, the PDP to tell uh, Nigerians what alternatives they have in, in every policy that the APC government will have. If it's good, they'll say it's good. If it's not good, they tell Nigerians what they feel, and that is how democracy is run. Okiri Agbonsuremi is my name, and we have uh, the president's uh, continued re reception for visitors in London, continuing with the media team being there uh, this weekend. We have a lot of mails to this effect. Some persons are still asking, is the president okay? Well, we saw the pictures, we saw the excitement in the, face, in the faces of uh, the media aides, and uh, uh, it's enough to tell us that Yes, the president, even if he's not strong, if he's not well, is uh, recovering. And uh, like he said, once the doctor gives him the go-ahead to come back, he will come back. So many Nigerians are doubting Thomas's. If this president, the way he looks, uh, so still frail, if he can come back and face the rigors in Asso Rock. Uh, Adeba, your body ring is here with me this morning. Uh, body ring, welcome to the program. Thank you very much, and a very good morning to you out there. Uh, uh, APC has uh, reacted to the claims of PDP that are set to take over power from them. Uh, Abdullahi, the spokesperson for the party, uh, declared yesterday that they are daydreamers. But whether they are daydreamers or not, the the um, the, not, the non elective convention of uh, Saturday uh, was something which was. Uh, interesting in the political terrain because in the last two years there has never been any political event of that magnitude and it uh, it it meets all it, it met all the billing it was a carnival it was a gathering it was a celebration at least for the pdp and uh, it was not just it's a, no, ele no elective convention but the way and manner the whole thing uh, was carried out particularly the campaigns those who are who are already jostling for the elective positions of the party which would take place maybe before the end of the year, and those who are also eyeing key positions uh, in 2019 election, particularly the presidential election, their banners, their posters were all over the place. And it was it's something uh, refreshing that at least uh, the lull in the political activity in this country is getting up. You can say that again. And uh, uh, the chairman of the planning uh, uh, committee, the co convention national, uh, the national convention planning committee, the governor of uh, uh, De Delta State, uh, spoke uh, uh, at the uh, to us. We told you last week, and we also saw him there. And uh, he do and Yangu, who is uh, his uh, chief press secretary, was also there. We also saw Adigo Square. All of it going. And he must be very happy now that the convention went under his uh, uh, watch. Uh, the, very happy that everything went well. But uh, do is still in Abuja and he's still with us this morning. Uh, do welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, Uhiria. I am also very, very um, happy for this uh, particular uh, convention, not only because uh, it's good for the PDP, but to a very large extent, it will help to deepen democracy. But the media must also uh, wake up 
I have always said it that we are not doing enough. It's uh, not enough for political parties to make promises. It is up to the media uh, taking advantage to of hold the them accountable. Uh, taking, taking advantage of the provision of Section 22 of the Nigerian Constitution to hold them accountable to the people. Because the situation, like we saw in the case of APC, uh, where they almost literally promised to marry wives for the unmarried men, we know that is not possible because love must exist between a man and a woman before you begin to talk of marriage. So it's up to the media to look at the uh, lines and then tell the public that this promise is coming from the moon and it's not likely to land on earth. Otherwise, political parties will come and make promises and before you know it, it will become another one chance. And Dr. Amichi Anakwe is also in the, on the studio this morning. Uh, Dr. Amichi, welcome to the program. Hello and thanks for joining us. I always say if uh, APP then, as it, wa it was known, uh, in 1999, uh, rose to become uh, a very strong opposition party over time, over the 16-year period PDP was in power, PDP would have performed better than it did. And I also add, if PDP was a, presented a credible opposition right from the one, uh, APC would have performed better. There is nothing better than someone breathing down your neck. Uh, you push yourself beyond the limits. Uh, you have to do the extra. But when you discover that nobody is indeed uh, trying to check and balance and criticize your action, you go to sleep. And that's what we have, we have seen in Nigeria, which will encourage a strong ruling party and equally strong opposition party to get the best out of the two for the betterment and deepening of our democracy. Yeah, that's where we are now. Uh, all, like I told some of my uh, uh, friends, uh, when we were watching at Eagle Square, the PDP will need to watch very closely, avoid the mistakes, and uh, try to see what it can do to promote internal democracy. That is the only uh, part that will make it strong, and the party members will have confidence that they can contest election. If they lose they internally, they will know that it was, uh, they, 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 it was clearly a victory for the person who, who, who won. Now, let's uh, uh, go to our mail, but before we get there, let's take a message, and then we'll come back. But just before we take that uh, message that will come to you, let me pro uh, begin with the message. Yesterday, uh, last night, I had to call the Federal Road Safety Corps uh, the, the, the commander, the core, uh, the core commander, that is the one in charge of uh, core public education, uh, BC uh, Kasim, to move out, to try to tell his men to move out a, an articulated truck that was lying in the inner lane on the expressway that runs from Kuba to town. That uh, truck in had, Abuja. in Abuja, that truck had been there for 24 hours. And within two hours, that truck was moved away by the Federal Road Safety Commission. And I was wondering, why did it take somebody to call them to move that truck away? Now, you can do the same. The whole purpose of me uh, of talking about it this morning is that you can actually do the same if you see any vehicle that is blocking the road that can cause accident to the Federal Road Safety Commission. The Federal Road Safety Commission is to protect us from having accidents on the road. And when there's a vehicle breakdown on the road that the cars can run into, then you have to call them, let them do their job. That is why they are paid their salaries. And uh, BC Kazim just sent me a number. Apart from the 122, the regular number that you can call anytime, he just sent me a number, the official line of the FRSC course public education officer, 080. If you have a barrel, just quickly write. This can help you, can save some people, can save lives on the road. Uh, 080 77 Six nine double zero double five. I'll take that two more times. Zero eight zero double seven six nine double zero double five. The last time zero eight zero double seven six nine double zero five five. If you call this number, I'll send a text message to them when you see any of uh, the problems that can cause accident on the road. It is not to inundate uh, the Federal Road Safety Commission with potholes uh, that are along the road. It's not the, the, the duty of Federal Road Safety Commission to fix potholes. You can direct those ones to the Federal Ministry of uh, Power, Works, and Housing. But for emergencies, accidents, something that happens that you know that require the Federal Road Safety Commission, please call this number. They will eagerly, eagerly, uh, quickly, just like they responded to my call yesterday, to remove that vehicle. Let's take a, a some break now. We'll come back after this message. Busted. They present the popular radio program.
political platform on the Ray Power FM network. Ray Power FM political platform now on television. Keep track of the country's polity and be part of the process as they discuss and put political developments in the country into perspective. It's Ray Power political platform on AIT Abuja. Welcome from that break is the mail segment. I am Ateni Kang Akipu. I am Saiti Yari. Welcome. We begin with the PDP non-elective convention that held over the weekend. And Emmanuel Ocharifu in Maraba, Nasarawa State says, The non-elective convention of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, held last Saturday has awoken the political activities that have been absent under this APC administration. For the first time in two years, I saw party men and women dining and whining on the same political table. However, we look at it, it has a long way to go in building strong democracy. Political spirit has come alive once again. I saw an indication, indicating light loading and wanting to APC to sit and rule well or be voted out. That is the benefit of democracy for all. At the risk of campaigning for PDP, I want to say that the triumph of the PDP at the Supreme Court is a triumph of God. Is a triumph of all. God bless Nigeria. More reactions. Shegu Banso in Abuja says, I watched snippets of the PDP's non-elective convention and was very disappointed at virtually all the speakers at the event. One would have expected that the, the speakers seek forgiveness of Nigerians for their 16 years of misrule and present their plans to do things differently. Instead, they kept trumpet, trumpeting and boasting in very annoying ways how they would take over power in 2019 thereby relegating the welfare of the citizenry to the background. I urge the PDP to do its homework, apologize to Nigerians for their previous misdeed, and come out with a blueprint on how to correct this before boasting on how the 2019 election will be won by them. We are watching closely. And lastly for today is a mail wishing Mr. Ohiri Agbansuremi a happy birthday. Actually, today is his birthday and someone has written in. Monday Ame in Abuja says, I wish to heartily felicitate with one of Nigeria's foremost journalists and quintessential political analyst, Mr. Agbansuremi Ohiri, on the auspicious occasion of his birthday today. May the good Lord bless and give you sound health, divine wisdom and guidance in your endeavors and service to our fatherland in Jesus' name. Congratulations to the master analyst and veteran journalist. Enjoy your day and have fun while the razzmatazz and ecstasy is last. Objectivity and integrity should continue to be your watchword. God bless you. Andrew Ogboro in Abuja titles his mail London Pilgrimage. He says, please let me use your medium to react to this wave of pilgrimage to London. It is sad that whereas government all over the world celebrates first three months in office with landmark achievements and plans to develop their society and country, we are celebrating almost 100 days of medical tourism. London has become a destination for our political office holders at our expense and none of them has deemed it fit to reason that it will be cheaper for the president to do video calls to everyone. Why is it that we never consider the costs of whatever we are embarking on upon with its benefit? Does this administration know it's becoming impossible to cross the Ekpo axis into Edo State or out of the state? Do they understand that a caretaker cannot exact the full powers and rights of a landlord? That the earlier we do the needful, the better. Return or resign? That's it on the mail segment today. Keep sending your mails to political platform at yahoo.com. Bust it! They present popular radio program political platform on the ray power fm network ray power fm political platform now on television keep track of the country's polity and be part of the process as they discuss and put political developments in the country into perspective it's ray power political platform on ait abuja Thank you and thank you again. Sometimes you just allow it uh, just uh, flow. I'm usually uh, very, very reserved in when you talk about celebration. But thank you all the same. Uh, we just uh, I pray that all of us uh, witness uh, growth in Nigeria and that by the time we are too old to continue to run, that we are leaving behind some good uh, steps for our younger ones, our children and our children's children to follow. And that we have a Nigeria that we can be very, very proud of uh, but when we are 
uh, not able to perform and run around the way uh, we were when we were running the, the running on the tracks. Uh, now we we just uh, need to uh, work all together in Nigeria and get Nigeria the Nigeria that all of us will be proud of and our children our children's children will be proud of. If you ask me, we are not there yet. Adebayo Boduri, let's begin with the PDP uh, convention. Uh, we were there. We saw the dramas. We saw the beautiful. Uh, uh, scenes. We saw people in their large numbers coming into Abuja, and uh, it was a celebration. The PDP said actually they were going to celebrate, and that was exactly what they did. Yeah, but I think one major message that uh, which, although we have, we still have to uh, verify all these facts that uh, the leaders spoke about was that everybody that came to that place sponsored themselves. So when they are even saying that. Uh, there was people who um, the some opposition party were saying they were higher crowd. Even if they were hired, the leaders are saying that they sponsored themselves. They came to, by themselves. They came themselves and that not a couple was given to anybody who attended that convention. And if it is true, I think it's good for our for You our know, you know, you know why I believe it. If you know you know why I believe it. When you have a convention before in the days of the PDP that we know, the old PDP, yeah. when there's a national convention you will see all the hotels block booked. Yeah. All the hotels will be booked in Abuja and uh, the whole place. But what you saw were people calling on their relatives, 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 relations, people who they are friends to say, please, can I just stay a night in your in your house? At least I met about two, three, four persons who were asked, where, which hotel are you staying? Say hotel. I'm not staying in the hotel. I'm staying in Guadalupe with uh, my, my friend. I said, this is... Uh, one of, one of those things that is good. But it doesn't really matter. I, I, I think what the PDP need to do more is to work on the financing of the... If you are a member of a party and you are not contributing money towards that party, you will not care whatever happens. If the governors are the ones bringing all the money like they used to do, the governor will sponsor everybody. Local government chairman will say, bring money, they will sponsor persons, and then the national office here will also sponsor people. When they come and they take a decision, then you cannot. But if you pay your cost... To come to Abuja and you pay your dues. Let them put. I don't see any reason why, if you are a member of a political party, you cannot pay at least five thousand naira for a period. Even if it's just quarterly that you pay five thousand naira or five hundred naira every month to the post of the party, and you have millions of members, then the party will not need any governor to give them money. And uh, the era of uh, Godfatherism will probably go down. And I think uh, I, 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 I pray we can go back to politics of the first and second republic. Where the the party, the party manifesto will be what we sell as candidates. The leadership of such party will be what we be used to on the they will ride on the altar of uh, the their of leader, India. the crest of their leaders to become elected rep a representative of the people either in any of the chambers of the National Assembly. In Second Republic, for instance, ninety percent of the candidates of the People Democrat I mean People's Redemption Party. In Kaduna and where, where, Kano, you, where you were a member, they were they don't they don't have posters. Just they joking. don't even have money to print posters, <laughs> but they were elected because they have a platform that was attractive to the electorate. So somebody who doesn't have money to print poster, to print campaign, I mean to pay for campaign jingles, and succeeded in winning election. I think it's a it's a thing that it's difficult for us if we can and we're always afraid whether we can go back to that era because we have monetized politics in such a way even when we are making this campaign that the youth should take over where do they have the money have the unless money we can go back to that era we have monetized where monetization of politics will become a thing of the uh, past it's good that uh, pdp uh, delegates paid their way to abuja but i ask is it because of the absence of a federal fund uh, well, it's a good one, <laughs> and uh, we encourage them to continue to do that. And I enjoy what, everything that happened. I uh, noted the optimism. Uh, one of our listeners said uh, the expectations of the PDP to come back to power. I like it. This is what uh, you see in a democracy. But I, I, I should advise PDP to also uh, be very cautious about uh, the way they um, try to match their expectations with reality. Uh, they must put in a lot of work. Uh, thinking that, yes, some Nigerians are disenchanted with the APC. They still have their core supporters. And it's a ruling party. It controls the machinery. Uh, you understand uh, the powers of the incumbency in a developing democracy such as Nigeria. So uh, beyond the celebration, let them not over-celebrate. Let them also uh, sit back, think, and do the groundwork is needed 
Same way APC is also expected to uh, realize that uh, it's being perceived now as uh, a party of all promises uh, cancelled. They need to re-engineer uh, their own campaign and strategy so that come 2019, we have a very robust uh, contest. Uh, two days ago, I, I think that was yesterday, not even two days ago, I was reading in one of the articles and somebody wrote that uh, PDP is joking with uh, Nigerians by saying that it wants to come back to power and that it, know how to, it knows how to do that. I think the writer actually got it wrong. It is, it is in the interest of democracy for political parties, particularly the ones that are vibrant, to succeed and survive. Because when they do, particularly in a country where you practice representative democracy and call on political uh, parties, because at the moment we don't have, um, though there's effort to introduce independent, independent candidates. Yeah. But even in countries like the United States where you have independent candidates, no independent candidate have ever become the president of the United States of America. And when you look at that, you understand that there is the extent to which individuals can mobilize mass support. Where you have a political party governizing the views and the aspirations of many persons, it helps the entrenchment of democratic principles and ethos for the people in that country to continue to call those political parties to order. If you are a Christian, when they say you should repent and then become born again, that does not mean the tendency to backslide is not there. But it's up to, to those stay, you have to stay on the track. Yeah, so it is up to other person to continue to encourage you to stay on track. Because the, the attraction to backslid or to backslide is very, very is very, very uh, uh, open. It's always there. Things that will make you want to do things the wrong, the wrong way. A very, very critical example for the PDP this time around is the Anambra election that is coming up. They must be able to as much as possible allow in the internal processes. To play very very transparently. Let the, let, let the, let the, let the party best candidates, party members, a situation where you choose to be assumed that there is one leader who must tell you, let us move in this direction, and because that leader is your friend, and everybody flows along that line, it will not show that the party have moved away from the past. So they must first of all avoid impunity, allow the internal processes, and like you said, Uhira, it's also important that the members of the party, just like the members of a church, pay offering. For the survivor of that, uh, you know, of that particular congregation, it is important for the congregation in this case and party members to pay, even if it's a dime, that the party now becomes theirs. You cannot want the governors to go and take money that belong to the state, or ministers, or those to bring money that belongs to their uh, ministers, uh, uh, and uh, at the end of the day, begin to claim that the party uh, is uh, yours. Do you will do also. So even as we're celebrating that, uh, like Bayo put it, that uh, the men, many of the party members, or so many of them came on their own. I know that there were some political office holders, senators, governors, house members who were under pressure to pay for transport. For that those. is why you are a leader. <laughs> when, I, when you mount pressure on your senator or your house members to sponsor you, provide a bus and provide accommodation for you, you want to ask where will he get the money from? I mean, where do you expect that he will get the they, money? They realize from? that all fingers are not equal. Okay. Even when you say that you are equal <laughs> stakeholders, we there do. Are those, there are those who are more yeah, equal we than do the others. Know that after all, Jesus Christ had to have disciples, but it was Peter that followed him closely, even if he denied him at the, well, at, the at, end, at, the, at the last day. At the end of the day, the pressure is on these political leaders, if we do not do it very well, to begin to look for one way or the other to augment and get monies uh, to be able to satisfy the need. That is why we cannot uh, but continue to emphasize that uh, the parties should restructure in such a way that party membership they should even know how many and the, and the funding process. yeah let us know the financial members those who are committed members of a particular of apc of pdp those who every month contribute from their, from and their non, non financial members must not be allowed to contest even if it's two naira you put in you must be able to put into show that you are actually you are, you are because how will because you be contesting if you, are, if you, are, you, are, contesting you don't believe and you don't party. even believe in the strength of the party right. even if it's two two naira that that person pays that is how you are going to be able to receive the grain from the chaff now let's quickly rush to the other one that is uh, the celebration of our media uh, team for the president led by the minister of information uh Eli Muhammad and uh, we also saw uh Femi Adesino who always speaks our call each time we call him to explain to us what is happening whether uh on 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 on, on air or off air uh we saw them really excited really they said Abigail W couldn't even uh, uh contain her uh, excitement she was so excited it was like it, 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 so we can see him this is uh, our president it's like they themselves were going to London to say are we sure are we sure and they saw him and they were very very excited so the same way 
many Nigerians who watch those videos were also excited to say, ah, good, the president is walking downstairs, down the staircase, and is taking a gift uh, of a card from people who are wish wishing him well. And the president, even though he looks very frail and uh, uh, emaciated, he is uh, walking by himself. He's not in an intensive care uh, unit where they will be asking, is he sleeping or is not sleeping? That was the excitement. But many Nigerians are saying, look, it's enough. Or enough of all these uh, uh, razzmatazz over, uh, if, if not fire shade that put the, 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 the president and his team on the toes, they probably will not even be doing this. Oh, oh here, when the president uh, was going, he advised people to, of course, uh, uh, not uh, bother, when, even when he came back, not to bother to come and see him in the villa. And uh, similar thing where he was going up. But now the pilgrimage has started. Like our listener uh, raised the concern, the cost. The cost of parking a presidential jet at the tarmac in an airport in London where uh, we have not been told. Uh, rumors uh, where was that it was uh, 8,000 uh, pounds, but some people said it's 4,000 pounds. Cost of keeping the crew in London, paying them extra code. Cost of pick, uh, keeping uh, all these people in London. Cost of move me, moving. Uh, the, the, the movement over last weekend, do you know how much it would have cost the taxpayers? Uh, where a video call could have helped to, you know, establish communication uh, between the president and his spokesperson, his media team, who should make use of technology, except that it has other motives to send some political statements. We must uh, look at the cost and think of how to utilize the money uh, in other ways. I have said before that the greatest challenge you have as a country actually is not corruption. I did see that sentiment. If you look at it, individuals telling us the president is strong, he can walk, he can run. Well, did we elect a cripple before now? He's supposed to walk and stand. But the issue is that the mentality, the responsibility of governing a country, Nigeria, is beyond the mundane argument of somebody who can just walk or somebody who can have a handshake. If not sentiments, the best thing that the president would have done at a time like this, because the fact is that the president is not too disposed to be able to take the challenges of staying in the villa and overseeing the affairs of this controversial country of ours is to have been able to, that's why we have a vice president, to have been able to resign very, very honorably. And then the, the acting president now will take over and appoint a vice president, a vice president who originally, by our zoning principle, will come from the north. But you know why that would not happen? The man from the north will say, no, you want us to lose power? Let us begin to put Nigeria on the table and stop putting Nigeria under the table until we do that. We will continue to do this, but we wish him well, and we pray that he becomes strong enough to come back to indeed take up the responsibilities of governing our country. All right, you can subscribe and watch our videos on uh, all the uh, episodes, and including this on uh, our uh, YouTube channel, AIT Political Platform, and uh, we continue to encourage you to download our app, uh, Repower FM app from the uh, uh, the Play Store, and then you will be able on the go get on Repower with all the music and the entertainment and entertainment. And in the evening, AIT Abuja, both local in Abuja and international, you can also watch all that you have. Your here wants to read me here. I uh, want to wish you a wonderful uh, week ahead and stay off trouble so that we can all uh, begin to see daily as we uh, watch and uh, listen to uh, us on the platform every day. Have a wonderful day. Busted. <laughs>